I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Yeah! When it's cold outside, oh. I've got the month of May. Did you hear these guys do their little rendition of My Girl? I certainly did. <laughs> Mayor, we need to get these guys down on the lakefront in, in that beautiful uh, amphitheater. The amphitheater would be a, great, they'd be a great attraction, would they not? A lot of talent and the uh, new facility down there is going to be a great asset to our community. Um, I'll tell you, the one cool thing that we would be more than happy to donate WYMS time for the broadcast and the whole staff. I'll take care of the staff. We'll be the ones to uh, put it on for you if you'd like, and we'll get those guys on. Always glad to try to work something out with you on it. That sounds like a great idea. Sponsors, listen up. Sponsors, listen up. Call me. Come back to Bozak for that now, right? <laughs> Brought to you by, exactly, Bozak Honda. Absolutely. Hey, this is great. Another, uh, another great event. Uh, you're at all these great yeah, grand cool. openings. How does it make you feel to have uh, something as big as this happening right in your own backyard? Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, first of all, we want to welcome the Bozaks to Michigan City. Uh, they, they certainly have a quality product, so we know that they're going to do well. Uh, but I know that from the conversations with people that have already been in here to talk with them, they're very pleased with that they have the new owners in here. Uh, they have a great business sense. That they feel they're being treated very fairly. and uh, uh, It's a great environment. It's a great facility. And uh, we certainly know they're going to do well here. I am Kathy Willman. I am controller for Bozax, as you say so. You are the best, and you got a great smile. When she was walking in today, she was walking to the parking lot. I'm like, good morning. She's like, good morning. Oh, I'm a party girl. It looks like a party Me too. Me. It looks like a party. Got some action going. I'm all set for that. Um, and I don't know if you had the chance to hear uh, the band, The Voices. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. They sang a little small rendition of My Girl, and Paul, I could tell the, the hair on the back of your neck yeah. was standing up. It was awesome. It was. I oh, love it. I love great. That well, maybe, she'll, maybe they'll audition Greg. He's a singer, you know, and a band player. Oh, uh, yeah. Really? He's Where? a gig tonight in Crown Point, Indiana. Who does? Hey, hold on a second. Both Both Happy birthday. Happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy 25th. Uh, thank you very much. What's the band? Right, so what's the ba what band? What band? Oh, it, it, it's nothing like these guys. No, but what is it? You know, it's uh, it's just a two-man acoustic act that my buddy and I do around the, the region, actually. Oh, really? And we're going to be at a place called Spondos in Crown Point tonight from 9 until 1. You got your... You got your... Uh, so once once we get done with the voices, you got to lower your expectations. If you're not just did you bring your guitar? Yeah, it's guitar. No, uh, did you bring it? Oh, did I? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Luckily, no. <laughs> but we'll be out there tonight. If and you're welcome to bring the whole station out there tonight. It'll be great. I don't know if you heard me uh, talk to Mayor Oberly. Uh, they just unveiled the brand new uh, amphitheater down on the lakefront, which they do the jazz shows and other great things each and every year. I think the voices, Landecker and the Legends. And your band. There you go. A triple bill. All for charity. Brought to you by Bozak. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> now you know what it's like to stand next to Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Another great event. I've seen you everywhere at these grand openings. Well, this is great. Every Saturday we seem to meet where our new business is opening up, and uh, we, need, we need to keep this up. Absolutely. Chamber does a great job to keep businesses in tune and in line with what's going on in and around the area. Obviously, you're here to do the ribbon-cutting ceremony. Talk about when that's going to be taking place. Um, well, as soon as we can pull it all together, we'd like to do it out in front. First in line, Bob from Wessel. Bob, get over here. All right. Let's hear it for Bob, everybody. Big round of applause. Woo! All right. Here's what we're going to be giving away. Today's prize, first prize of the day. First prize is an Eat Right, Get Fit prize pack from Fiber One Muffins. Oh, good. All now right. listen to this. God, I need to be regular. It includes a yoga balance ball, a pump. What? Plus Wait a, a cool purple tote what you, bag. What, what do you need a pump what for? What do you need a pump for? You need to pump up your ball. Oh. That's the yoga. I'm just letting Pumping you guys know. Your, I think Bob's balls have been pumped up already, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> Bob, how do you feel about that? Pretty uh, gay. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a $45 value, okay? Oh, good. 
Here is the question. Are you ready? You mean he has to do something for this? He's got to answer the question. Then he wins a prize. That's why he's here. Okay. Approximately how many cups of popcorn would you have to eat to get seven grams of fiber? Oh, Rick. How many cups of popcorn would you have to eat to get seven grams of fiber? Paula, here are your A, B, and C. Is it one, three, or six? One, How many cups three, of popcorn six, six. would you have to get to get seven grams Am I of fiber? The question? Yeah. No. One, three, or six. Six. Um, six. Yeah! Hey, he's the winner. He's the winner, everybody. Woo! It's amazing what we know about Bob, fiber. how does it feel to be the winner? Okay. All right. <laughs> Pretty regular. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> See, that's how simple it is. Well, well, All right. You're going to um, be in a much happier mood when you call. Okay. Right. Let's, uh, let's get over here. Mr. Grace, come here. All right, Mike Grace is here. Mike, say hi to everybody. Hi, how's everybody doing out right, there? Good. No, you can't see us. This is for John Landecker. Oh, okay. Okay, hang on one second here. All right. All right. What Go is going on here? Read a few of the tops, and then the price is on the bottom. Uh, today's prize is a family mealtime prize pack. It includes an eight-piece Chef Master barbecue tool, barbecue tool set mm. and a $10 gift card to Jewel Ot- uh, Osco retail value. Cool. $43.95. Have you ever noticed that summer vacation rarely feels like it? From baseball games to summer school, the family calendar gets crazier than ever. No wonder you're too tired to come up with dinner ideas. Try this summer solution. Stock up on Hamburger Helper Twin Packs at Jewel Osco. Just add ground beef and you're good to go with so many helpful flavors. You can serve up lots of different budget-friendly home-cooked meals for your family. And if you're looking for an easy and great-tasting side dish to bring up your next barbecue, Suddenly Salad is a great alternative to traditional paper potato salad. Your old family will love it, and you're sure to go home with an empty bowl. All right, what's the question? How many words did I just read? No. <laughs> how, how many families, how many American families say they sit down for dinner together at least five nights a week? Wow. How many American families say they listen to uh, sit down for dinner? At least five times a week. Is it well, a the bunkers used to? No. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the bunkers did. didn't it turn out to be a <laughs> fight. Is it a thirty, b sixty, or c ninety? I'm gonna say maybe sixty. You are correct. Hey, hey, I won. Hey, I won. There you go. My gosh, that's how easy it is to win. Come here, Nika, real quick. Come on. Uh, that's right. You Nika, show up. So, you go on so the air. So great to see you, Nika. How are you? Oh, great. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Congratulations on that wonderful new marriage. Oh, thank you. He's uh, a laugh a minute and a laugh every day, and that's that's why I love him. Besides, he's good looking. Uh, you know, the, the funny thing is, is that we've had about four or five people call me straight out and say we want to have a reception for John and Nika. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think about that? Um, I'd rather go hear the group that's going to be singing today. <laughs> there you go. Gosh, you know You'd what? Maybe we here? could do a first dance no, out in no, front with no, John and Nick. No, I don't think so. Oh, well, look I'm at the both that guys are. Oh, yeah, I'm this thumbs up for dance. that. Quick, right, right. because this is Theater of the Mind. Tell everybody again who you are. I'm Greg Bozak. Okay. Greg, mm. these two just got married, mm. and a lot of people are saying that they want to have some mm. type of a reception for mm. John and Nika. They didn't want it. But now I'm thinking that they could dance today to the voices like my girl or something. Uh-huh. Well, that's one of the reasons we brought them in here was to help celebrate <laughs> the newlyweds. Uh, oh. Marriage. And oh, I think, I I think the first dance is, is definitely definitely something we ought to do right off the get-go. Oh. Because I heard Mr. Landecker can, you know, he can dance like John Travolta. <laughs> I don't know where you heard that. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe John, maybe have John Travolta after a couple of knee operations. Ralph walked right up. He says, Rick, what's up? What can I do for you? How are you, buddy? I'm fantastic, Rick. Thank you. Um, it is great to see all these people here today. It's wonderful to see this grand opening. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling wonderful. I mean, everything has gone extremely smooth. The weather is not cooperating a little bit, but we're still having fun out here, and every, we invite everybody down to come out and enjoy the day with us. Well, because of Mr. Landecker's idea and Alan's great uh, marketing genius and the great family and folks here, the first time ever that uh, since we've owned the station, uh, close to four years now, that we are going to actually have uh, a concert live here. We've had bands and different things that we've done live from different venues, but this is going to be a first, I think, with these uh, Motown classic uh, gentlemen, the voices. That would be fantastic. Uh, we had a little preview here about 
an hour ago when they first arrived. Oh, it's unbelievable! It's just unbelievable what they yeah. what they did inside our showroom. It was like <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> so I can't it wait was. for them to get started here in the next yeah. fifteen twenty minutes. It's going to be just great. Blow us right out of the water. Yep, so you're right. Everybody in town from Laporte, Laporte County, come on, come on out. This is.